In this video, we're going to look at creating named ranges in Excel and then using or referencing those named ranges inside formulas. Now, named ranges can make your life a lot easier when using them in formulas. So that's what we're going to look at. So you can see here I have a data set of loan records and one of the columns is the loan type column and then we have a loan amount column so in this first example we're going to perform a sum if based on a named range for our loan type and our loan amount columns so to create a named range all you need to do is go up to the formulas bar and click the name manager box you can also hit control and f3 to make it pop up automatically so I'm going to click new here. Now when creating a name for your named range, it must begin with a letter. You cannot have spaces. So if you need to have spaces, use an underscore character. So I'm going to call this the same as the column header. So this is loan type. I'm going to click here in this refers to and then go select that range click OK that gets created now we're also going to create one for our loan amount column so I'm going to click new again we'll call this loan amount highlight this down here and then go click on that column click OK so now I'm going to perform a sum if here based on the criteria here of business loans so now I can start typing my criteria range which is the first input so that is just loan type so I just start typing loan type and I can select it and hit tab to fill it in our criteria is gonna be this cell here and then our sum range is gonna be the loan amount named range so I just start typing that hit tab and there is our output so you can see that really simplifies inputting a formula makes things a lot easier I know this is a very basic example but this can really come in handy when you just have tons of rows and columns and you want to be able to input formulas with great ease so now we're going to create another named range because we're going to do a sum ifs with multiple criteria columns so I'm gonna hit control and F3 to bring back our name manager box I'm gonna click new so this time we want to create a named range for our location column so I'll call this location and then go select that click OK so this time we're going to use the sum ifs plural and the order of this formula is different it begins with the sum range so that's going to be our loan amount named range our first criteria range is going to be the loan type and our criteria is going to be this cell here and then our next criteria range is going to be our location named range and the criteria is going to be this cell here and you can see we get our total here I can change this to a different location if I want and it updates automatically so now we're going to create our final named range which is one for the entire data set because we're going to use a VLOOKUP formula based on these loan IDs here so I'm going to hit control F3 one more time click new we're going to call this data set and then go select this entire range here click OK we're actually going to create one more named range of just the headers because we're going to use the match function inside a VLOOKUP formula to get our column references dynamically so I'm gonna click new again I'm gonna call this 
headers. I'm going to go select. Whoops, need to click here first and then select just to get that row of headers. So now we're going to insert a VLOOKUP. Our lookup value is going to be this loan ID here. I'm going to hit F4 three times to lock the column but keep the row relative because we always want it to point to this cell when we drag this across. So our table array is going to be the data set named range we just created. And then here for our column index number that we want to pull back is where we're going to reference our headers named range inside the match function. And in order for this to work, the headers here must be the same as the headers in the data set to the left. So we're going to use the match function. And our lookup value is going to be this header name. And we want to hit F4 twice to keep the column relative but the row fixed when we drag this down so that it always points to this header value. Our lookup array is going to be our headers, if I can type here, headers named range, and we want an exact match. So what the match function does is it takes this lookup value of customer and finds the position of where it's located in this headers named range which that is going to be position two so that is our dynamic column reference for our vlookup so then back into our vlookup we have our final ar argument we want an exact match so i'm going to either type zero or false for an exact match so we get the nixon group and if i go look that is indeed the lookup value for that loan ID. So now I can drag this across and it's going to dynamically get these other columns because of the match that we inserted. And then I drag this down and it's going to pick up this second lookup. And you can see that is indeed the lookup values for that loan ID. Well, that is it for now. Thanks for watching.